Turning now to Geneva, middle school principal John DeFazio was arraigned last night in city court charged with an alleged inappropriate encounter with a student. DeFazio was charged with a misdemeanor endangering the welfare of a child. This happened yesterday. Christian Garzon joining us live now with the very latest. Christian. Well, Adam, we spoke to a child advocacy center today. They serve three counties, Ontario, Yates, and Seneca. They help to uh, coordinate child abuse allegations, both sexual and physical, with law enforcement. Their ultimate goal is keeping kids safe. Their advocates also work with courts, helping to iron out things like orders of protection. Now, while the center can't touch on the current case of the Geneva Middle School principal or any case they're working on, Jennifer Brownell, the executive director with the center, says parents should try and talk to their kids about it. After all, many are going to talk about it, and it will be on many minds, both child and adult. Also, other youngsters might be impacted by this and have yet to come forward. She says to ask your kids open-ended questions. The goal is to listen and to let your kids lead the discussion. So in, in a situation like what's happening in Geneva, uh, and it, it's, you know, it's a news story. Kids are going to hear about it. Kids are going to talk about it. As a parent, it's perfectly appropriate to say things like, well, what have you heard about this? Um, or how does that make you feel uh, hearing these things happening? Or what would you do if somebody made you feel uncomfortable? Where would you go? Who would you tell? Now, Brownell says if any parents or kids have any comments or questions about the Geneva case or any other case, to please reach out. In Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Geneva City School officials say DeFazio was immediately placed on leave pending an investigation. The district saying, in part, quote, we take the type of allegations at issue very seriously and cooperated with the police throughout the process. We are committed to the safety of our students and expect all staff to adhere to the highest ethical practices and conduct.